Hi, uh, I'm ZK. Before we get started, like, help me out here. Um, am I seeing this right? Uh, zrasti? Like, is, that, is that hello? Zra zrasti? Is, is zrasti? Zrave? Zrasti? Okay, that's correct. So yeah, you're saying it right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So zrasti, I'm ZK. Um, maybe you can share a little bit about yourself with our audience. So um, I'm a Bulgarian artist. My name is Korean Koshev, also known as MZK. And I've been doing digital art for around 17 years. Um, my main subject is uh, women, uh, females in general. I really like to join them, like uh, I really like drawing uh, faces in general as well. Um, I believe that's one of the most complex things to draw. So that's something that you can constantly explore and improve. And it's really satisfying to do so. Thank you. you shared with me earlier, right, that uh, you have been doing art uh, for over 17 years, right? So if you can share, share with us, how did you first get involved with art? Uh, so, like, I'm drawing since I was a kid, and I've been drawing, like, all my life. But it was in school when I uh, discovered those things called the graphic tablets. And so I bought one and it was like some amazing because it uh, like combines two of my favorite things, technology and art. So I was immediately hooked. And yeah, that's how I get into digital art. Okay. And right. like at that time, I also got uh, featured in the DeviantArt, like which was the biggest platform at that time. And when I got featured in that, like it was... So I realized that it was something that can I, I do like for the rest of my life. It's something I'm good at. Nice. And and let me get this straight. So you 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 shared with me earlier also that you went to art school as well, and then you you dropped out, and then you did architecture and you dropped so, out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I dropped out twice. Uh, so so I basically like. Um, after realizing that uh, like digital, the drawing is the thing I want to do, I, I got accepted in the National Academy in, of Arts in Sofia, which was awesome. But then it was like a very traditional thing. Like we were drawing with the oil and pencils and there was no nothing digital. And I wanted the, the new stuff, the technology. So after one year, I dropped out. And at that time, I was already started like designing. Uh, I, I was like designing websites and logos and branding, and I was thinking like maybe I should study something else that can help me with my design things. And that's how I got into architecture, which like has a, this very similar process to to design. So I started architecture, but dropped out from that as well <laughs> at some point because it wasn't my thing. Like it helped me realize that design is my thing and not architecture. All right. Okay. Yeah. And so when did you first discover NFTs? I heard it's re recent. Yeah, like I guess like when most of us discovered like uh, two, three months ago when people made his first big sale, like for six, seven million. And yep. Then I, when I heard it, I was like, okay, there's something going on there. I have to be part of this. And then he made this super big sell with Christie's. And like NFT boomed and I was like, I have to be there. And I got there as fast as I could. And yeah, that's how I got into NFTs. Okay. And when you shared with people that you started doing NFTs, like what was your reaction? Oh, well, like the NFT community is really awesome and supportive, like probably the best community I've been part of. It's amazing. And here, um, uh, locally, my, my friends and family are also very supportive. Like in the beginning, everybody, everybody like, what's that NFT? You're just selling uh, expensive JPEGs and they're like, don't, don't get it. But when I explain it to them, that they see the, the whole idea and how amazing it is, and everybody is super supportive, and yeah, it's amazing. So they 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 started believing in you once you started making money, right? So they started they saw you started selling. Yeah. 
Well, I hope they, they believed me for that as well, but... <laughs> I'm sure they believed you there before, but they believe you more now. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, you've had a very interesting journey uh, as an artist, from a digital artist to now an NFT artist. So um, maybe you could share a little bit with our audience uh, about this journey of yours. So, like, as I said, this all started uh, like with the graphic tablet and featured on DeviantArt. And after that, I was I got into design and was designing a lot, and like the universities. And then um, I got featured in on Behance and different websites and books, which was amazing. And like I got a lot of exposure, so I started doing a lot of illustrations. And that's when like I got most of my exposure, like most like fame or like most of people know me from then. Uh, I made one uh, big like soul exhibition in Sofia, which is also amazing. And yeah, um, after that, I like dropped a bit of illustration and started working on my startup, which like you know took most of my time. Yeah. And until recently, I, like that's what I was doing. But when NFTs came, I was like, okay, there is like something I can make money of, like from drawing. So, yeah, I've moved to a lot of NFT space. Okay. And um, I did a little bit of research, and you've worked with a lot of really big brands. I uh, see Coca Cola, Audi, uh, Absolute. Uh, can you share with, us, share with us a little bit about your collaboration with Coca Cola? Yeah, sure. So, so Coca Cola is my latest uh, collaboration. And it was like amazing. They they asked me to to design their cans and bottles uh, for for Bulgaria campaign. It was like one year campaign, and uh, like the task was to design like ten or twelve illustrations for every can. And it was like a fashion illustration with boys and girls. I have it here if you want to see it actually. Uh, yes, the it. Share with this. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this sure. one of the things. So yeah, it was like a dream come true actually because like for every illustrator like working for such a big brand is like literally the dream come true. And yeah, I was really happy to to be able to work on that project. The guys at Coco were amazing, and Audi was also an amazing project. So they designed. They asked me to design the car app uh, for the new Audi Q2. Like, you know, this is when they reveal the car, it's wrapped in a big coat and they just move the coat and show the car. So this wrap was like my canvas. So they, they said like, design whatever you like, uh, but it has to be like to talk to young people and they give me a car bunch. So I, it was awesome project. <laughs> Exactly. And like you know, on the on the event, like there was a lot of people, and they just like everybody watching my rap, and they just throw it and show the car, but <laughs> it's fine. So they, yeah. Did they give you an Audi? <laughs> no, <laughs> I asked them, but they didn't want it. <laughs> yeah. You shared earlier that your your favorite subject matter is women, right? So. Maybe you could share this. What is your inspiration yeah. behind your mission to turn girls into, into the queens that they are? So, so I, I believe that every woman has a beauty within and um, it's kind of my mission to show it, like to, to show it from the, to the outside. And I believe that uh, every woman is a queen because there's someone behind it that actually adores it so much as a queen, <laughs> something like that. But, and my mission is to to show that there is a beautiful, like every woman is beautiful actually. Uh, and I must say, yeah. from seeing your art pieces, you're very very successful at your mission. Your artworks are are gorgeous, very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now, Thank um, you. you know this 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 might be a bit complex or. There's a lot of processes, but maybe you can make the, uh, you can share with this. What is your process for you know creating your NFTs? So uh, it's a bit complex, but uh, I usually start with on my iPad uh, with the you know Apple Pencil, amazing tool. 
uh, working on Procreate or some different software. So uh, there I sketch and got the basic, the basic layers, like the basic uh, shading and colors. Um, then I moved to a custom uh, developed software, like I asked a friend of mine to help me develop, develop this software. Uh, where it's basically a, yeah it's basically a displacement map software where you have two maps and you displace them in a special way and then you end up with something really abstract and I take this abstract part put it back on the iPad on uh, with the on the Procreate app uh, I drop what's necessary and just leave what I like and that's how I make these uh, interesting shapes in my works. And uh, then I moved to a 3D, soft, 3D software like Blender, where I animate it or like um, add a few 3D elements. And in general, I'm trying to, to, to combine 2D and 3D art or clarity. And I think it's coming up nice. And that's basically my process right now. <laughs> it, it is very nice. Um, it sounds really complex. What, what do you think? Uh, MZK of the future of NFTs. What do you think NFTs will look like? Oh, well, NFTs are here to stay, if you ask me. Um, I believe uh, NFTs would become the default thing for digital art. Like uh, wherever you go and you post your work, you probably it will automatically have an NFT attached to it, which is, I guess it's the goal of NFTs in general. So I think this will happen. And probably it will happen for everything digital, not just for art and uh, like music, but probably for everything. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, so in the future, every, everything and anything will be an NFT. I, I strongly believe that as well. Okay, now um, yeah. you are a very successful independent artist. I mean, you're featured in art. you mentioned Behance, yeah. you've done work with big brands, right? So what advice can you share uh, with aspiring artists? So uh, don't stop creating, uh, don't stop experimenting, um, break, fail, like uh, don't settle. Like even if you have a bit of success or you have a huge success, success, don't stop, like continue exploring, continue creating just go with it. like i've seen so many people like do one thing and just stop exploring or creating it's kind of sad but if you're like the good creatives like the great creatives that's what they do they never stop they don't settle so do that okay all right just keep working hard keep persevering right uh keep mastering yeah. your craft yeah. mzk can you elaborate a little bit about the legendary piece that you created so uh, the legendary piece is inspired by uh, the kill between the princess and the frog. We, we all know the, the story when the prince killed the frog. So uh, mm -hmm. here it's not the frog, it's the gecko. But that's what the inspiration looks like. She's keeping the, the gecko and, well, he, the gecko is not becoming a prince, but probably everybody gets rich. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, they're really, really nice pieces. I'm sure our audience will love them. Uh, and yeah, that, that, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you. Thank you so much, MZK. Uh, two things I want to ask you. One, how do you say thank you in Bulgarian? Uh, I, I googled it. I completely forgot. Uh, would you mind just sharing with me how do you say thank you? So thank you is Bulgaria. Uh, Bulgodaria, Bulgodaria. Okay. Yeah, that's and right. the second one is gecko. So how do you say gecko in, uh, in Bulgaria? Yeah. So we don't have ge geckos in Bulgaria, so we don't have a word for that. <laughs> uh, but we have like the closest thing is like lizards, uh, which is in Bulgarian is a uh, gushter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Gushter. Oh, okay. Bulgarian um, is a difficult language, so don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is. I was Googling a little bit and I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm going to really embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bulgodaria, MZK, yeah. or MZK, right? Thank MZK. you so much for participating, being, uh, being one of our feature NFT artists. 
thank you everybody for having me and thank you for this opportunity guys and hope you like my works yeah thank you. <laughs>